All right, let us waste no time because we have such an agenda here at the start of today's show. Updated numbers for Democrats and Republicans in the House and Senate in what now are midterm elections that are just about six weeks away. Numbers continue to improve for Democrats in both the House and Senate, although Democrats are still not favored to win in the House. Let's look at the numbers in the 538 forecast for the Senate 2022. It is now a 71 percent chance that Democrats will win and only a 29 percent chance that Republicans will win. The most likely outcomes are Democrats maintaining a 50 50 majority because Kamala Harris would be the tie breaking vote vote or Democrats having a 51 to 49 advantage. The way that these numbers have changed over the last several months is directly in the favor of Democrats. As you can see, if you're looking at the screen, at the beginning of June, Democrats had about a 40 percent chance of holding the Senate that has climbed steadily to a new high of 71 percent. Now, things that happen, 29 percent of the uh, sorry, things that are 29 percent likely to happen. Happen 29 out of every hundred times, so that doesn't mean that there is any guarantee here. But right now, the most mathematically likely scenario is Democrats holding the Senate either 50 50 or 51 to 49. Now, over in the House, the numbers are not looking as good for Democrats, but the numbers are closing in on basically a two to one likelihood of Republicans taking the House, which is far worse for Republicans than it has been at any previous point during this election cycle. Twenty eight percent chance for Democrats. And again, if we look at how those numbers have shifted over time, you will see that what was at one point a 14 percent chance for Democrats at one point, a 12 percent chance for Democrats has now surged all the way up to a 28 percent chance. Again, the most likely outcome is still that Republicans will take control of the House. But the likelihood of that has declined steadily for a period of June, July, August, three and a half months, three and a half months, as we've said before. If at this same rate, the numbers continue to improve for Democrats by Election Day, it would be close to 50 50. We don't know that that's going to happen, but that's the way the numbers look today. And the important thing is everyone must vote. Do not concede any seat. Fight for everything. Let's talk about VPNs, virtual private networks. Even if you're using incognito mode on your browser, if you're not using a VPN, everything you do online can be recorded by your Internet provider. And that is permanent because they're selling it. Search engines, social media companies are also tracking your every move. You only need one thing to protect yourself from all of it. Private Internet access. One of our sponsors. It's a VPN. It's simple. You take a moment and you download it, you turn it on and you're protected and you stay protected. And that's it. VPNs can also keep your connection secure from hackers. Important every time you check your bank account or 401k or pension. Otherwise, it can all be out in the open. Private Internet access never records or stores user data. They've even proven this policy multiple times in court. Their software is open source to show that there's no data being logged. This transparency is why private Internet access is the VPN I use and my audience gets 82 percent off so you can stay protected for just two dollars and eleven cents a month. Plus, you'll get three months free. Go to private Internet slash Pacman. The link is down below.